Listen Productions, Family Theater Company, Rewrite, Exploring Classic Text Through the Lens of Disability, Episode 1, The Constitution, The United States Constitution and its first 10 amendments, the Bill of Rights, are America's guide to freedom. But could the Founding Fathers have made freedom more accessible? We wonder about their motivations. Our documentary film crew followed expert reenactors reenacting. Happy Hour 1789 ish. And the girl disappeared into the night. <laughs> the exploits of your life could fill a book or a stage play with music, singing, dancing. And it shall be called Hamilton. Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad duel. <laughs> Ten bucks says it never happens. <laughs> Ten measly dollars. Hear ye! Benjamin, why on God's green earth would you want the turkey as our national bird? They can't even fly. It can hover a little. I've seen it with my own eyes. Hear ye! A small group dressed in colonial That's outfits better. gathered and drinking. Now, uh, we all fly. So, documentary filmmaker. You fainted. I James Madison, Madison, chronic fainter. I am prone to the occasional fainting spell and muscle spasms. What I miss? Ah, uh, Madison had one of his spells. Again? This has happened before? Oh, yes. Uh, Madison's epilepsy is about as well kept a secret as my total inability to... Alexander Hamilton, attention span issues. <laughs> it looks exactly like Plymouth Rock. There's so many fancy buildings there, and you could go into any of them. I went into the church there, and what they told me was that exactly like Plymouth Rock. <sighs> Sorry, what were we talking about? In considering the Bill of Rights, some wondered if anyone had been overlooked. Have we considered the plight of the invalid? Oh. 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 Haven't we heard enough about the various plights? Yes, James has addressed the plights of the landowner, the white people, men. I think we've covered all the important bases. What about you? Do you have any personal connections John to Jay. the plight? God bless Concerned me about seven invalids. wonderful siblings and ten originally, but seven out of ten ain't bad these days. And of those that survived, two are blind and one acts like, like a mule. And to tell you the truth, these founding fathers aren't exactly free from all ailments themselves. Invalid? Me? John I Hopkins, fashionable cane, cane carrier. Because it's stylish, not because of any palsy. And I certainly have not once slapped anyone involuntarily, leading to a night in the clink. John Jay accused me of being an invalid? Just because I have trouble seeing things sometimes and Benjamin had to Franklin, invent a whole new kind of glasses enthusiast. for it? Unless he was referring to the symptoms of my syphilis. We need a branch of the military dedicated to defending our coasts. Clearly, I'm not suggesting anyone here himself is an invalid. But I have asked an acquaintance to come here to give us some insight to the condition. A wheelchair user rolls up. Sam, so representative of the Hopkins. invalid community. The founding fathers. What are you hoping to convey? Access to more things. Schools, jobs, buildings. Simply to just be Americans. We just want to be recognized as people. In your case, you seem like roughly half a person. Given the ridiculous fraction to assign. Gentlemen, I've invited Sam here to give voice to the concerns of the invalid. Yes, but do they have a voice? Uh, some of them are mute. M mute? Oh, this is a very complex issue. It's not so complex. If any of you had disabilities, then maybe you'd understand. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, Sam. Be sure to remember not only to say the right thing in the right place, but far more difficult still to leave unsaid the wrong thing in the tempting moments. You follow? Ah, Franklin and his sayings. 
By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. When in doubt, don't. In wine, there is wisdom. In beer, there is freedom. And in water, there is bacteria. I just can't deal with that guy. And remember, friend, those things that hurt, instruct. Thanks, I'll remember that as I'm dragging my ass down your stairs. Flips the bird. Clearly, it wouldn't be the worst thing if we added some protections. It would align with all men are created equal. We are, after all, seeking to create a more perfect union. Even if we're not afflicted with anything now, the unexpected could happen at any moment. For that to happen, one of them would have to fez up about their struggles. So, we'll stick with just the ten. Do you think such an amendment for Americans with disabilities will ever be enacted? This is the greatest democracy in the world that I've... We're creating. Future minds will write such an amendment. Perhaps our country will even provide health care for all its citizens. Could be. Well, maybe in a few years. Two, three years tops. I'll bet you one hundred dollars. Yeah, because America's all about progress. When you're finished changing, you're finished. Benjamin Franklin. PTC, Family Theater Company, 